Hello, Plansy friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Please grab a drink. Grab a drink because today I want to talk about plant accessories. So I'm not really talking about pots or trellises or even prop stations. I'm talking about other fun things that I like to add to my plants, like in my plants, that I think just make it a little more fun, especially when I have reached my plant cap, meaning I should not bring any more new plants in my house because that would be too many and ultimately my plant collection would suffer for it. So instead I like to find, again, fun things that I think can go in my plants that just add a little bit of my personality to them. The first couple I will say were locally found. Everything else I will link in the description for the shops that I found them at. So let's get started. This first plant accessory I want to show off is this beautiful hand glass blown mushroom. I found this at an art mart at a brewery, kind of semi-local to me, and I could not find who I bought this from. I tried searching my emails for a receipt. I, I couldn't find one. <clears throat> so I'm sorry I could not link the shop, but it is just a steak. Before I show off the mushroom, I just want to say that this whale fin has a baby. And I'm very excited about that because that's the first time I've ever gotten a baby from a whale fin. So, cool. Okay, showing off the plant accessory. The, again, I just think this is so adorable. It's made of glass. It has a little ladybug right here. It has a stake right here. And it just happily lives in my plant. I haven't had any issues with like this being metal. I haven't found any issues. I don't really know what kind of metal. If it's like a copper or it doesn't look silver. I don't know. I'm not a metal expert. So anyway, it just lives very happily with my whale fin and I love this plant accessory. It is so cute. These next two don't necessarily live in my plants, but among my plants, I like to kind of hide these between my plants and they are ceramic snakes that I purchased from a local plant shop. Again, I could not find the artist who made these beautiful snakes. Uh, I tried to find a Facebook post or an Instagram post like showing off the artist. I thought there was one, but I couldn't find it. I am gonna try to message the shop and see if they can tell me. And if I can get that information, I will link it. But as of right now, I could not find who the artist was. But look at these adorable snakes. I love them so much. And yeah, they just kind of like hide amongst my plants, like my trailing plants mostly. I like to just like have them peek out amongst my trailing plants. And I just think they add just mm, a little something to my plant shelf because that's where they live on my plant shelf. Again, one more look. I don't know which one I like more. I can't decide. These next plant accessories I purchased off of Etsy, the first one being from a shop located in Houston, Texas, MAS Craft Creations, and I have purchased a couple of items from them, all being generally the same, and that is tentacles. I love these plant tentacles here. I, I think they look so cool in plants. I think they just give a little extra something. To them, I also have this one here. And I mean, it just looks like a sea monster is coming out of your plant. Come on. It looks cool. And then in my ghosty, I just put like a whole bunch in there. This one was inspired by Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Uh, I don't think this one was inspired by anything, but yeah, this one was inspired from Ursula from The Little Mermaid, and I just think, again, it looks awesome, and I love adding them to my plants, and I think it makes my plants look cooler. This next plant accessory, also from Etsy, lives in my philodendron silver sword, and that is this black cat here. I love these little additions because it's made of I don't know like a resin or something that does not rot when you add it to soil which is very nice because there are a lot of accessories <clears throat> made of wood 
and they're very cute and I do have some I did purchase some but they do eventually rot unless you are diligent about taking it out before you water and then only adding it back in once the soil is completely dry because they're made of wood wood and water equals rot not a good combination so I do prefer to get like these types because they do just last a lot longer and look at this cat I love cats I better foster them and I have a lot anyway I didn't mention the store yet this store is called leaf and node on Etsy and they are located in Dayton Ohio why did I say that so weird <laughs> Dayton Ohio they're located in Dayton Ohio I forgot that this next plant accessory I did also find locally to me I found it in a shop called the rustic fox in North Aurora Illinois and in that shop I found what is called a flower frog and I didn't know what it was when I saw it at this shop but when I saw it I immediately thought that is something I can use to prop plants with and of course that's what I'm doing I'm popping popping I'm propping these pothos global green cuttings which are kind of not doing the best one of the cuttings is rooting which is cool but I just really haven't had much luck with this plant so far I had a when I bought it, I bought it in soil, then it got mealybugs, and then I transplanted it out of soil into water, didn't really do well in water, because it was like a pretty sizable plant when I got it. Now it's only down to like this little bit. Eh. But um, basically, flower shops used to put flower stems in these holes and use that in their flower shops, so I thought that was really interesting and a neat find they had a couple more but I didn't want to take all of them they were like 10 bucks a piece I didn't want to take all of them as I wasn't sure like if it was gonna work if I could find a vessel to fit this size because obviously like you have to have the perfect size vessel so this doesn't fall but it worked out and I'm really happy about it this next item was purchased from an Etsy shop called Plants and Promises located in Irving, California. Unfortunately, they don't have anything actively on their Etsy right now and I'm not really sure if they have anything else like a Facebook or an Instagram that they sell off of or even their own independent website. I'm not really sure, but the Etsy site that I did purchase these off of no longer have active items. But when I when they were selling, they were selling these adorable mushroom sticks so they have had a little bit of wear as you can see I'm okay with it they have a metal stake that does seem to be rusting a little bit but okay again I'm okay with it and I acknowledge that I probably could take care of these better and then they wouldn't like look like this <laughs> but it came in a pack of five I just can't like hold all of them up nicely came in a pack of five almost dropped it and again, just a really fun thing I think to add to a plant pot. It just looks so cool. And I love mushrooms, so I just think it looks awesome. That was the last item, but before I say goodbye, I just wanted to call out that really anything can be added to your plants. Like for instance, this bowl truckle here. I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, um, only Harry Potter fan, not of the author, only Harry Potter. And this is a bull truckle. It's a beast from the Harry Potter universe. And I added it to my plant. It's just like, a, it's supposed to be a toy. And I'm using it just as a toy for my plant. I think it looks really fun. And like my nieces and nephews have given me things over the years. Most recently, my one of my nieces gave me some seashells. So I have those added to plants. Uh, last year I went on a girls trip and I got to walk along a beach and talk with my friends and we picked up some interesting stones so I kept those and added those to my plants just I think things like that are really fun and maybe that's not your style and that's totally okay but I think adding these things to plants is just a fun way to show off your personality more so I'm just gonna leave it at that Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Cheers. Oh, my mouth is.